Hey everyone, Jim Branscombe here for the Cinematic Boy Vlog. I'm currently in Chicago for January Giallo. Just posted a screening of Tightrope there with my friend William Morris. It was a great night. It's a lot of people to see Tightrope for the first time. But I want to talk about some other shows I did back in December. And since it's snowing, I thought it'd be appropriate. That and this weird demonic statue of Harry Carey behind me. For December, I ended up doing a lot of action-oriented kind of holiday-themed movies. And you can debate how holiday they were but this first one did have someone dressed as Santa Claus and of course I'm talking about the Silent Partner. I bought back Joel B. Michaels. He was the producer of Silent Partner. He was also the producer of The Changeling and we had a conversation about putting this movie together. We talked a little bit about The Changeling, how like that movie's impeccably cast. This yeah. one has an all-star cast. Can you talk about like, you know, lining up Ellie Gould, Christopher Plummer, Susanna York, everyone from like the extras to like the bit part players, everyone is just so wonderfully cast. Can you talk about just how they yeah, pulled sure. um, uh, We first, first got Daryl Duke. It was because of the Canadian finest, it needed uh, a Canadian cast. By and large, the Canadian cast. And um, I'd seen a film that Daryl Duke directed called Payday, which was really with Rick Torn, which was a really good film. And Daryl's Canadian. Uh, I'd lived in Canada before, so I was kind of familiar with the, with the, uh, the talent in Canada. Uh, I gave the script to Daryl. Daryl responded very favorably. Now, Daryl was, Daryl Duke was represented by ICM at the time. So, uh, his agent, being a very good agent, sort of helped package the film with ICM talent. And that was Elliot Gould. It was Christopher Plummer. And Christopher was Canadian, as it works out. So, it, it, it just, everything kind of fell into place. But it was all based on a really good screenplay. Uh, because Elliot Gould and Christopher Plummer um, weren't desperate to work, they didn't need them, they were there working all the time. And so um, uh, the script is really what, what attracted them, and Daryl was, you know, he did a really good job directing the film. I mean, he did it for very little money. The next week I followed things up with Maniac Cop 2, which is one of my all-time favorite action horror movies and one of the best Christmas movies ever made. For this screening, not only did I have one of the stars, Lorraine Landon, I also had the film's director, William Lustig, who also directed Maniac, Digital Annie, and is the head honcho of Blue Underground. There's a lot of action in this movie, incredible action, which, Bill, you go, you knocked out of the park for this. Because um, you worked with your stunt coordinator, Spiro, in Las Vegas. Can you talk about kind of the, you know, how you set well, out to do all the action for this? What happened is Spiro and I, in the 80s, would go to uh, Chinatown, and there was a theater, I think it was called the Kuo Wah Theater, or called something like that, and um, and we would see all the Jackie Chan films, the uh, Chow Young Fat films, the Joey Hart films, and you know, we were making, you know, we were kind of making notes, we were kind of, we were inspired by what they were doing that you weren't seeing in Hollywood films at that time, now it's, you know, but it was back then, you didn't see them in Hollywood films. So we basically took that, up. you know, the Maniac Cop films, what's great about them, they're over the top. You know, you want to just, everything you want to do is, you know, comic book, you know, it's over the top. And, um, and that's what they did in the, in the uh, 80s, in the, in the Hong Kong films. They were just fantastic. Um, in fact, the, the, the thing that most people enjoy is when she's handcuffed to the steering wheel. <laughs> I actually got that from a uh, uh, police story with Jackie Chan. There's a scene in it where you see a, this woman is handcuffed. The, you, you know the opening of police story, I'm sure you guys have seen it, where they're going through the shanty town and everything. And, um, and there was a shot of this woman, she was handcuffed to a steering wheel of a car. And I thought for sure there was gonna be either the release of the brakes of the car or the car was gonna be rear-ended and gone. And, and, and sent down the hill, and it never happened. So I always, I filed that, you know, and that's how we came up with the, the you know, we said we'll do what they didn't do in the Jackie Chan film. So that's, that's basically how, you know, these things were done. For week three, we kept the holiday cheer very high with Invasion USA, directed by Joseph Zito and Chuck Norris. Unfortunately for Joseph, I kept referring to him as Chuck Zito, but I guess that's just what Chuck Norris does. He just takes your first name and puts Chuck in front of it or something like that. It was a vintage 35 millimeter print, has, you know, lots of 
Christmas in the movie. And to close out the series on the day after Christmas, I showed that great holiday classic, The French Connection, starring Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider, directed by William Freakin. And if you're like, well, how's that a Christmas movie? Well, if you remember very early on in the movie, Gene Hackman's gone undercover as a Santa. So yeah, as a Santa Claus, obviously a Christmas movie. So that's the recap for December. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you in the void.